Hey guys, got another Bible review for you guys today. Uh, this is a Bible that I have been wanting to review for a long time. I've had it for a while. Um, just enjoyed it and enjoyed it. Uh, I got this Bible as a trade for a couple of rebinds. It's that valuable. <laughs> it, uh, it was on one side and, and two custom rebinds. Uh, that was the trade. So anyway. And I'm happy to have it. This is, as you can read from the box, NASB Quintel Schuyler Bible in black goat skin. And this is a first edition. It's the first time they made them. And you can tell a first edition uh, by a couple of ways. The way, how thick it is. It's much thicker than your normal Quintel. The uh, stamping is much smaller. You have a smaller Jerusalem Cross and Schuyler. You have smaller uh, font for the uh, New American Standard on the uh, spine. And it's a s smaller Holy Bible on the spine. Even though the, the spine is it, itself much thicker. Uh, also, you have four ribbons. Uh, nowadays, the, the quintels come with three. But the first editions came with four. And this thing is so big that it developed its own nickname and it is affectionately called the brick uh, mainly for its humongous size so why is a bible that's not a study bible this is definitely not a study bible why is a bible that's just a text bible with references this thick what could be the reason for it to be this thick and the, the reason is that the paper is thick the paper is a 45 to 46 GSM paper, and it is it is very, very thick. And if you write in your Bibles or underline, it's, it's very thick paper, very good for writing, highlighting, all those things. And uh, also, it's, it's very opaque, so you, you don't see the ghosting behind it. Uh, similarly, like a French milled paper is, is a thicker paper and it has a wider color to it as well. So that's why it's so thick. It's such a thick Bible uh, because the paper is really thick. So anyway, so let's talk about this cover. You can see, like I said, the spine's got the tooled ribs and you have the nice goat skin cover with the stitch perimeter. You have the pressed uh, Jerusalem cross on the cover but it also has Holy Bible on the cover uh, that's not super typical for uh, for Schuyler Bibles these days usually it's just the Jerusalem cross um, so and this goat skin is really nice uh, it's it's just really really nice um, there's there's one there's a couple of knocks on this Bible and that first one would be this liner I believe is a bonded leather it's still really nice it's still a really nice bonded leather um, and it probably won't break down anytime soon but eventually it will eventually it will um, but hopefully it'll be generations and generations later so you can see the goatskin leather cover printed there and uh, the the corner work is uh, you know it's, it's neat but having a stitch perimeter uh, makes it uh, much more durable. You also can see the tabs cut at an angle. It's, it gives it a nice, neat look, uh, clean look. And you have this nice gold gilt line around the perimeter of the inside of the cover. Uh, it's your typical Schuyler awesomeness. And this is one cool thing about the first editions. These presentation pages at the start of the edition are just beautiful. I mean, the artwork is just awesome. And you have places for, uh, you know, who you, who it is and all the normal presentation page stuff. And then you get to your uh, title page. And you can see the title page is pretty simple. Holy Bible, New American Standard Bible. And you can see it by Schuyler Bibles. Quintel series published by Schuyler Publishers. So, anyway... As we kind of open it up, uh, you can see it's a 95 text edition. Um, and uh, I mean, it's just, 
it's pretty simple stuff so if you want to pause at any point in there you can you can look at that stuff it has map information and the website address and all those things um so anyway uh moving on we'll go to the you have your contents and all those things forward the format explanation and now you get into the bible and you can see this humongous uh text it's just a big big font and you don't see much bleed through at all the bleed through you do see it's line match so it's it's even better uh this is not a french mill paper but it is a nice thick paper really white a nice color uh your chapter numbers are in red and your text is in black with your references at the bottom just really i really love this layout up at the top the uh the chap the book and chapter references for quick reference are are uh, in that nice crimson red it's really really cool the art gilt is really well done really nice for it to be such a big block it's really really nice the gold gilding is is also really nice i mean there's a reason why these bibles cost 250 300 dollars um they're collectible and they're usable but also the the features like the art gilt and the gold four ribbons all those things are really um undeniably uh superior to other premium bible editions so this bible <clears throat> i would probably say is also in my top five um it's it's just that good of a reader i mean it's a spectacular reading bible the with the text so big and it just flows so well in a verse by verse format uh at least in job and whatnot we get over here to uh to the gospels and to the uh po it's in paragraph format there but uh, I mean, it just flows really well. It's really nice. Uh, it, it's a good reading edition. Um, probably my favorite reader. It's not going to be the easiest one to hold. Like I said, for me, I got big hands. I'm a big guy, so I don't mind holding it and reading from it. But um, it's it's uh, it's not going to be something you want to have this laying on a table because it's big enough you can sit several feet away from it and read it easily and uh it's just really nice anyway so kind of getting on with it uh you get toward the back the text is of course incredible um the nice large text you have the uh, concordance is in a four column it's really cool it's in a, a four column format alphabetical of course and uh and you and it's in a much smaller font but they are able to pack in a huge concordance in here too uh but it's really like i said it's not taking up a whole lot of space in the block My, the reason why this edition is so thick is not because of concordance it's because of this humongous paper this thick paper that they used for the edition and the larger print that they use so you get to the back you have i want to say 20 something uh maps i mean you have a ton of maps it's a bunch and you have space under the maps and around the maps to write notes which is really cool i think that's really neat then you get into your index of the maps and then you have several pages of white paper for notes in the back as well so and then again you got your your back uh inside of the liner is that a bonded it's a nice bonded leather and then the back of your cover and this is like i said this is the black edition i believe they, they came in red and in brown and uh, and in navy blue so they had i think four different color options for this edition and the, the one i have is the black one with the four navy blue ribbons and i really love it um anyway so that is the brick that is the review of the brick 
hopefully I covered and you could see a lot of the things I might not have covered, but you can see for yourself kind of the uh, the readability and how, how beautiful it's laid out. The craft, craftsmanship that went into it and really why these Bibles are so highly sought after. These first edition, uh, first generation, whatever you want to call it, first edition quintels, uh, the bricks, they are, um, that's why they're so pricey. So anyway, uh, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, I want to do, I'm going to do a comparison video, like almost like a Super Bowl of NASB Bibles. And it's going to include this one as one of the top contenders. And, uh, and really it's deserving as you can see, it's, it's, a it's a awesome addition. So if you have the ability to get yourself a, a brick, a first edition, um, uh, Schuyler Quintel, I recommend you do it. it. It would be, you would love it. You'd love having it, the readability and also the rarity. Uh, they don't, they don't make them anymore like this. So, uh, they become less and less available so the value of them just continues to go up so it's uh it's also a good investment so anyhow take care god bless i hope this is helpful and uh leave comments and subscribe and like videos so thank you again for watching bye